Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 17. We're still over here at Field 7, and she's cultivating over there and doing a great job at it. And we need to <clears throat> probably get blue out of the way over there, so that she, it's not uh, a problem for the cultivator. So let's just park this off to this side. This area is nice and clear. And let's take this one back home and think about our next step. This field is going to be planted in poplars. I was just looking at the uh, harvesting equipment, the foraging wagon and the, and the, uh, the header that, that works for poplars. and It's very expensive stuff that we're probably never going to use again in this series. <clears throat> this be the one time just to see it happen. So I think we're going to lease it. Um, there was a way to, let's see, it's B? I feel like there's one more. X, I gotta wait for it to get to the end. Now I can X, okay. So we can drive this through the, through, well, that's a tight corner over there. I guess we'll find out if this was a mistake or not. Um, since we're not going to use that equipment anymore, there's no point in spending close to $400,000 on it for a one-time use. You gonna clear that roof? Yeah. That's where I put the uh, uh, the bale shredder wagon. Leave it out here. Probably not use it again this series either. So, what I'm doing with this series is mostly just demonstrating the game, trying to touch on all the different possible subjects and how it all works. Um doing this for yourself and doing it for myself, not recording, I'll concentrate on just certain aspects of the game. You know, if you want to get into dairy farming, then you want to be able to, uh, to make straw and grass and, and whatever is necessary for the total mixed rations. And that would be your main focus. We're spreading our resources out so wide that we can't actually make a profit. But if you concentrate on certain parts of the game, you know, just farming or just logging, what have you, buy the best equipment that you can afford and make some profit and, and uh, keep doing it until you've, you've taken over the industry. This guy, I think, was on the back wall. I remember right, let's go a little bit further. Then it just feels a lot more realistic, you know, doing more like what you would be doing in, in regard to running a business. So we're not going to have that sense with this series. Ooh, that's close over there. Oh, we got it. Maybe future series. We will intentionally specialize. Alright, cue that one. And, oops. That didn't go the way I planned. <laughs> so... When we... Hmm. We can buy the equipment to plant. Let's lease the equipment to harvest. I think that's the route I want to go, because we might want to plant somewhere else, and not necessarily in a field. I, I'd like to test the idea, I don't know for sure, whether or not you can replant trees out in the wild, or it has to be in a field. I'm not sure. But I want to be able to do that, to test that. Anyway, so where are we at? I can see the, the canola out over there, so I know we haven't gone through another cycle. Um, so we're not going to go harvest these guys yet, which means we need to deal with this. She's finishing all that off. We did finish off all of the... Yeah, we, we cleaned up all the rest of the plowing. Okay, so she can do that. We can, I guess, head out to the store and bring back some pallets of... Uh, of uh, poplars as well as the poplar planter. Let me think about that. <clears throat> Back of the trailer, I'm pretty sure has a trailer hitch. Right? Yeah, there's a ball back there. I think there is. What if we tried to put the planter I guess it depends on if the planter is a three-point hitch or not. That's really the deciding factor. Okay. Let's run off to the store. Uh, Q. 
Uh, probably, well, we'll go this way. You should go out the back way to the, to the, uh, what do you call that? Now the supply store, the farming supplies, home and garden center, I don't know what you would call that. But, you usually don't travel the main highway to get there, but this time we will. Our corn plants. Zoom out into here. There they are. Yep, looks like corn. Right over here is barley. Yeah, yep, that looks good too. Looks a lot like wheat too. That's growth stage. Kind of similar, but they, as the seed pods develop, they, they look a little different when they're done. One's tighter packed. Alright, it's 55 out here, so we'll overtake the 30 mile an hour cars. <laughs> On this lane, you never have to worry about the right turners pulling in front of you. They do stay tight, and then they'll take off onto a, another right turn somewhere and, and zip right back out of the out of traffic. You should see this red car take a turn, right? Yep. And blue? Yep. There they go. Right on cue. Could kind of sneak in here. Oh, the curve's working against me. It says do not enter, huh? That's an exit only. Interesting. Oh, I didn't bring up any sense of a front loader, did I? Man, I ran over some people. Hmm. Yep, we need a front loader. I'll be right back. All right, so let's try that again. Now, the time that it took me to... Um, I'm just looking at this one. We need to bring that home, too. The time it took me to go and get that, we have transitioned over into four fields that need harvesting. So let's load this guy up, and... Boy, I'd like to get him under cover, huh? That would be nice. Hmm. Because we got rain coming. Um, let's get this guy. Get him out of the way so that he's not uh, in the way of, of the new pallets spawning. Alright, take you down to there. Always a challenge to line these guys up. Alright, so how are we doing down there? Take you down like so. Slips right in. Yeah, he just slid right off the fork. See back down there. Okay, so this one you spin too fast and you flip them all over the place. And this trailer is a bit of a challenge. A lot of people don't like this trailer because of these diagonal arms on them, which makes it hard to load things. So I've gotten used to just setting it nearby and then uh, pushing the next one over onto it. Let's level, drop off before a little... I'm still at a not the best angle, but that will do it. All right, set you down and the other backward. There we go. All right, let's pull out to about here. They're going to line up somewhere near that trailer and shop. Now, forage harvester is the beast that picks up the or, or uh, um, harvests the poplars. I'm thinking this guy. These all seem to be able to do it. We're almost $400,000 here. But the only foraging head or header that I could find that has a poplar symbol is the one at the very end of the list. This is, uh, I'm thinking that's grass and silage? Let's, yeah, because I think hay or straw. Oh, it could be straw, loose straw and loose grass. That could be a two. But all the way down here, we got this guy. And he only attaches to the FR850, which is this guy. So I think you need those two in order to do the job. So 400 and some thousand dollars to 
test what it's like to do poplars. That's too much for me. Planting the poplars, though, get over to forestry equipment. You've got this guy here. He'll plant the poplars and the trees. And $26,000, I've got no problem with that. So let's select him, no choices, and buy. Yep, and OK. Then the poplars themselves are out here in pallets. And they are not trees, but poplars. So pallet saplings, these are trees. Don't know what kind. And then poplar saplings. That's what you plant for uh, wood chips. So let's grab these guys. I really don't know what quantity. 2,000 doesn't tell me much. That's because they're planted, I think, doubles? It's quite a thick column that it builds. Like it just randomly throws them in, three or four, two, three, four at a time in a, in a long, thick row. So if I were to grab four of these, there's 8,000. Would that do it or not? I don't know. Let's find out. I don't want to buy too many. There's three. Uh, no. Okay, so that should be four of them out there. And we'll come for the other equipment later. Let's just get these four loaded up. And does this need a three-point hitch? Front is there. I'm thinking the answer is yes. So I can't... There's not a tongue on it that I can just hook to a ball at the end of the trailer. So we're going to have to come back for this later. But we're not going to be doing that this time anyway. It looks like we're going to be harvesting. All right, take you down a little further. Harvesting three and four. Like so. Um, you know, this would be easier if that trailer was forward a little bit. Let's do that. If I can keep from flipping this off the forks while I'm doing it. There we go. Let's bring him out about like that. And the right one is selected. Yeah. Because undoing this mess, dropping your forks accidentally with that weight on it, that could be trouble. It's, it'll land at a bad angle, it will not mount up to the, to the uh, tractor again, and you're pretty much stuck. Alright, you up, flat, like so. And, let's do that. Now there is a trick. If you've seen this before. Is it R for the straps? There it is. Strap, strap, strap. You can do this to, to see where you need to put the pallets. So that one's not really the best place. Let's pull back. I want to go over here a bit. We'll use this other strap. We'll put them too deep in there. So we'll set them right about like that. There it is. And the trick is to get in that truly flat. Right there. Set the other one right up against it. Alright, line them up. Take you down to... About like that. There's more room in these pallets than that seed pallet over there. So you got a lot of flexibility up and down that you don't have with the other ones. Let's see. Tip them this way. Up like so. Flatten them out to there. Slowly back up. Height-wise, we're good. Alright, something like that. Drop them in. Press them together. I like that. Okay, down, flatten, back up. Yeah, that did it. All right. Wash. What is that expression? Rinse, wash, repeat. Or something like that. Ready, fire, aim. <laughs> okay. There. Like that. That yeah, got too low actually snagged it, didn't I? Yeah, snagged the wood. Okay. What's it take to get off of them? There we go. Try that again. Like 
there and there. Nope. Now I'm still too low. Come down. Oh, I gotta back up again, get off to reset it. Let's come in a lot higher. Nope, he's just having problems now. Nope, I'm having problems. Never mind. Height up a little, flatten out. There. Yeah. Good enough. Drop them down. Zoom in so I can see those tines or forks. Right there. Drop them like so. Down and back up. Good. One more time. Through this painful process. Got it? Got it. Alright. Drop it down. Push into the other one. Pretty well centered. Like so. My angle's off somewhere. There it is. Down a little more. And not back out. Okay, I'm dragging at the bottom, I think. Let's go up a little. Up a little more. No. Okay, let's try from this side. Boy, it looks like I'm floating in the middle. Okay, well, I guess we're going to have to drag down. I wonder if I can go down there and strap it. So... R, R. Now can I get out of there, or am I in trouble? Nope, not the chainsaw. Okay, back out. Nope, it didn't do it. It doesn't count it yet. Okay. Alright, well, let's push down hard into the bed and see if I can just force it to stay on there. There we go. Okay. So let's restrap that. R and R. Okay, we're good. We're good. Let's get out of here. Let's see. Let's do that. Something like that. Alright, well, they'll keep our uh, poplar planter over there for us. We'll have to come back for that later. Let's get over to where? Where can I pull this guy in and keep him out of the rain? We can put him up the potato field for now. Although we can take him to the pig farm. That will work. Yeah. Pig farm, there should be enough room in those if I can back it into that. Ooh. This is a dolly trailer. Dolly front. Yeah. Hmm. Yep, I'll meet you over there. Okay, Nyko's just talking about maybe putting together a series of American Trucker, American Truck Simulator. And I've watched him back up the semi-trucks on his Twitch stream, and it's it's fun to watch. <laughs> so, eventually you get good at it once you've done it enough, but doing it on a in a computer game is far different from doing it in real life. I'm trying to make WASD do what you would naturally do with a steering wheel is is a whole different ball game and I'm trying to remember no semi trucks do not have a dolly front like this so this is much more difficult they've got just the fifth wheel so i've got to do the opposite of the opposite which is not that i may not be able to do this yeah no matter what i do i'm gonna to have to straighten out better yeah, I'm already probably in the wrong spot to do this. But you've got to make your your movements very not exaggerated. 
It's the opposite of exaggerated. It's got to be just the slightest changes to move things back there. You go too far with the tongue, there's no recovery. Already I can see there's no recovery, but I can do this to get myself in a better position for next time. You see, it folds up on itself underneath you here. So I'm trying to... I'm spend way too much time trying to get this into the into the tr uh, the shed there. Okay, pull out. A lot of trial and error. It's really a matter of trying to keep that tongue straight with the tractor, as if it's one piece. Okay, forward. I'm getting it now. Now we want to let's see backwards. Want to start that turn, but then I got to straighten up the tractor so I don't lose uh, the tongue. So the tongue stays rigid with me. Okay. So I've got the right idea, but I need to start the turn much sooner. So let's straighten up over here and start that turn right here. So is it this way? No, it's this way. Um, no, it was this way. I had it right to begin with. Okay, forward. I need to turn. Again, it's the opposite of the opposite. Okay, too much. It's not, see, the tongue wasn't rigid with me. Now it is. Now it's aiming back behind me where it should be. As if the, the pivot point was on the trailer rather than on the ball hitch of the tractor itself. That's the goal. Trying to keep that thing straight while sending the trailer where you want it to go. So straighten up with the with the, uh, the arm there. We're getting it. Okay. And once you lose it, there's no recovering, so you just go forward. Okay. That's the idea. It's not perfect, but we're undercover. That's what I wanted. What I really want, though, because I'm already 20-some minutes into this, is... Let's see. Q... Yeah. I want to get the harvesters going. So let's go get that going. Um... Yeah, I guess everything's got to go back. Although, while I'm here, let me grab that other plow. That was the idea. The next time I was out in this area with uh, random equipment, uh, he's sitting over there. We'll have to come back for him, too. Then I would, you know, a, a, a tractor without anything hooked to it, then I would go ahead and grab all this equipment and bring it back. So, I will meet you over there at the, at the farm, and we'll get ready for that harvesting. Okay, at some point, it's going to start raining. Uh, boy, to get an angle. There we go. So, we've got to get that harvest in. Um, well, a lot of harvest in, huh? Um, Q? No, G. Q. Okay. Back him up. And then set this guy in at an angle. Like so. And Q. All right. So, we know we have sunflower, and we've got, was it soy? I'm pretty sure it was. Where's our harvester? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Alright, so the other harvester is over there with sunflower in it. Okay, we can start him over there. Let's grab an Uber. That's probably the best way to do that. Right here. He's got sunflower in him. Good. He's right over here next to field four, which has the sunflower in it. All right, well, that gets that started. Then we'll figure out the rest. What I'm debating is whether it's time to get another harvester and do field three with that one so that we've got two big harvesters ready for field five when we get to it, which is that behemoth over there. Otherwise, this is field three. This is field four. This is our sunflower field. That's our soy field over there. Both need to be done right now. Um, X, G, X. There we go. And we know that. Uh, well, we don't know. We don't know. Sunflower at the other field didn't fill this up very fast. We don't know if that field was plowed or fertilized, which greatly increases the yield. This one we've done everything to. So this one could be a whole different story from what we just did over there. Okay, so there is that to keep in mind. Let's get him started. 
drops down. And how fast is he filling up? 51. Fifty-two. He's going to fill quickly. Okay. Uber back. Right there. Let's grab... Let's grab both of the... Of the big trailers. The big tippers. The idea is that we will put sunflower seed into one of them and uh, soy into the other one. And we'll have him run both fields with both... Uh, what am I looking for here? These guys. Uh, both uh, harvesters running at the same time. I think the dolly has to be in front to make this work. I'm pretty sure that's what we came across the last time we did this. I bought two rigid ones, no dollies, and they wouldn't connect to each other. So one of them had to be a dolly. I was trying to think logically which one would that be. Of course, it's the hardest one to back up. But I've got a clue how to do the backing up now. So let me see here. I need to the other way. Need to get the wheels going that way, but stay rigid on me. Now I've got to have more room. Alright, something like this. Oh, that's a tough angle. Alright, so I need... those wheels under the trailer to turn. And I need to recover that tongue after the turn. Which I cannot do, because the, the turning span is just too small. So we got to move forward a little bit, and then do that. Okay, we're getting there. So it's doable. It's just tough. Alright, so we've lost too much of our turn, so let's do this to keep the wheels under the trailer turn a little bit longer. Alright, how are we doing over here? Are we getting close? Oh, we're lining up well. I just can't get a view. Now, if I can just keep it going at that angle. So if I do this, it does what? It does what I need. Okay. Right in there. We should see our little pop-up soon. It says, it says that we can mount them. And we can't. Alright. 50-50 chance and I blew it. The dolly's got to go in the back. Okay. Now we know. Let's straighten him up like so. Release. Go grab the other one. Can we get this done? The, uh, the sunflower uh, harvester is going to be full. Let alone picking up the other harvester and bringing it over there. What I may have to do is we'll stop here and we'll pick it out. And then I'll cut away and go get it. Might be the, the way to handle this. Alright. So Dolly in the rear. So this kind of trailer, you're pivoting with the ball of the tractor rather than pivoting with the dolly of the trailer and the other one. So it's the opposite direction that you would want to go. And we have a coupler. All right, we're together. And did that just go up into the stage? Was that that bright of green before? Hmm. I don't know. I've been staring at this dark green for the last minute or two. Maybe that's why the light green looks so bright. Uh, helper B is nearly full. Yep. Took me forever to get this hooked up. Um. All right, we'll we'll take the back route here. Just debating whether to pull all this up this hill. Yeah, you know, we now know that pulling this up this hill. Uh, oh, lower route full of grain is going to be almost impossible. We have very little grain in, the, in, these in those other trailers. These are heavier trailers. Fill these up. I, don't, I honestly don't know if the warrior could make the climb. One mile an hour, I can see, based on what we saw the last time. Alright, so we are out at this end. He's probably going to be full by the time we get there. Hopefully the... Uh, yeah, he's in the right direction. Can we stop him before he makes that turn? No cars, no cars. Okay. Are you done? I'm thinking we're going to try to stop him from 
going away. Let's get the rear one if we can. Nope, didn't work. E. I'm gonna have to go and yell at him. Stop. All right, let's get him emptied. Where am I? Right there. Now, what was with that? There's the direction. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Well, we'll get a trailer full. Then we'll set this aside and spend a little time thinking about the uh, next harvester. Looks like five passes with this guy. Four and a half passes. Almost there. We'll line them up again and we'll take a look at the at the, the catalog. At the series catalog where they sell harvesters. This is a narrow little little field here, but we really didn't need that much in sunflowers. So and it's a really long field, so it's, it actually makes more than you think. Alright, back you up and higher. And E, jump out. And jump back into this one. Alright. Alright, now. Harvesters. That didn't do me any good. That's what I want. Right there. So we picked up... Where's my bar? This guy. If we got two of these then one could be using the corn harvester like we're doing now while the other one is using that huge um, other header uh, the corn header and, and the wheat header we'll call it hmm but when we're doing field five they're all going to be needing the wheat header and it'd be nice to say the yellow one the red one and the you know the red and white one <laughs> rather than trying to remember what's what i like the brand massey ferguson 385, 3, okay, what's the difference? 12.5, 12.3, 12.00, 12.000, not much difference. Power, 4.90, 5.71, That's the strongest of them. Speed, 15, 18, 18. Uh, they all do the same here. Cost per day is negligible. Indifference. Um, <clears throat> I'm kind of thinking we'll just. I don't know the Russell Mash though. Huh. This guy. Which ones? Let's go out here. Now we've got a a 760, a 9230, and a 9380. Delta 9380, actual flow 9230, Torum 760. I'll see if we can remember those. Headers. Let's go out to the end. We're looking at this stuff anyway. <clears throat> Case. So you're going to do the 9230. You are 137 wide compared to what we're using here. Yeah, the pivot point. No, this one had the, uh, uh, the built in dolly. 13.7, 13.7. All right, so the same width as the other one. That's nice. This guy over here is a Massey Ferguson, 12.2. Come on, scroll. Now, the one that did the other one was... Where did the Massey Ferguson go? Right there. That's the Delta 9, 9380, so that's the same as this one. Difference is 10.7 and 12. So we're looking at that one for the Massey. Looking at... Let's see, that was the Massey. This is most likely the case. Yeah, the actual flow right there. So, cupula? Capula? Is that an A or a U? Capula, we'll say. Capella. Capello. Okay, that works better. Capello. 12. You fit the 7130. No, 9230? 9230, and the Massey was the 9380. So, 9230, that was the other one. 
Okay, you only do sunflower. You do sunflower and corn. So we're actually looking at none of those. This guy. Torum, 670. Okay, and you're only 9. All right, so I think that settles it then. We're looking at the case and we're looking at the Massey Ferguson. So let's go with the Massey Ferguson first. That is this guy or this guy. So 10-7 and 12-2. All right, so we're going to take him, select, no upgrades, buy. And okay, back, back, grab this guy, the Massey Ferguson, was that one, 9380. All right, he does all that we needed to do, and select, no options, and buy. All right, still above 2 million. Back, back, back. And with that, hmm, now that we've got it, all the fun of trying to run two harvesters is kind of gone because the timing didn't work out. I've still got to go get it, and he's finished here. Yeah. Well, we've got it now for that field for the grand finale. But what else is available as far as fields to harvest? I mean, really, it's these two, and what we're using right now could very well do this one. So we're looking at a small one and a small one. Okay, so let's just bring out the header with the pickup truck. It'll do that and get this one going while we run over to get, say, this one going. What time is it? Okay, we got just enough to kind of get all that started. No, I'm not going to do that. Let's dive into the next episode and clean all these up rather than try to rush it all. Yeah, I like that better. I know a lot of you have fun just watching the process rather than seeing the end result. I don't want to uh, wipe out the process. So let's call it done right here. I'll just dive right into the next episode and we'll clean up the other fields and drive that harvester to somewhere. Yeah, we'll do all the stuff. Okay, it's been Noble Rambler. Thanks guys for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.